hey, I'm doing something a little different this time. Instead of a normal writing vlog, I'm sort of going toward a longer form vlog where I plot out a novel. If you haven't watched my writing vlogs, I am currently contracted to write a second book in my contract with HQ Digital. My first book is wrapped up for Christmas, which is out now. And the second book is another women's fiction novel. This contract, we have two books and they're sort of going in the same vein of women's fiction. I had submitted a previous synopsis, 20 pages about, and unfortunately it just did not work for the publisher, which is fine, it's totally fine. My editor said that I could delay the second book of my contract until we really figure out what I want to write, what we both want me to write. I want to be excited about my book. I don't want to put my name on a book that I'm not proud of. With ghostwriting it's a little different. My name is never on the book so I can pretty much write whatever the client wants. So it's just a little different for me. So I scoured the internet and I found a lot of people sort of emulating authors. In terms of women's fiction, one of the queens of women's fiction is Susan Mallory. I decided to research her a little bit. She used to post a lot on YouTube about her process and her books, so I watched a few of those videos and she's very transparent with, you know, how she plots and everything. So I was like, huh, maybe I'll do a writing blog on how she plots. And this is where this was born. She has sold over 40 million copies of her books and has been a number one New York Times bestselling author. So if I'm gonna follow anyone, it's gonna be someone like her. So then I dug a little deeper and I did some research into some of her interviews and on her website FAQ page. And she did talk about how she plots novels and it's similar to how I plot novels and how I sort of want to plot novels and um, moving forward my process has changed a lot and especially with this book how it's on sort of a tighter deadline I want to not waste any time sort of discovering the book I want to have it ready I want to give it to my editor this full synopsis and I want to make sure this is what they want so when the time comes we already have it all plotted out all I have to do is write it I tend to do fast drafts when I do a first draft of my novel. So I had a list of all of Susan Mallory's like processes and I was just sort of thinking to myself I don't have any well for the YouTube videos I had an idea when she posted them. For her FAQ page especially I don't know how long ago she put that up there. So I decided to be bold and email her assistant. I let her know about this vlog that I'm doing and she almost like within a day so it's very immediate she got back to me and she actually spoke to Susan about me and they gave me basically her updated process, which I think is so cool. I love how most, most authors are transparent. You can reach them a little easier. Granted, I had to go through her assistant, but the fact that they had a conversation I thought was pretty cool. I'm gonna go over her process and how I followed it. The first thing she said is that she plays with an idea for several months before writing anything down. So this is like her brainstorming process. I do not have a few months. I had about a month to figure out this new story after I had already written that previous one. So I'll count it. Then next she said she brainstorms with her assistant and they talk back and forth about the book until it seems book worthy, which is the word that she used. Now I don't have an assistant, but. Okay, so I'm going for more of a beach themed book. What do you think of the beach? Do you love the beach? Would you want to read about the beach? I was gonna put a dog in there and I already have settled on a name, but I don't know what breed. What breed do you think dog I should do? I know you would love to have a Wheaton Terrier. Maybe I could do a Wheaton Terrier, but you're a little crazy. I'm not sure I want a crazy dog. dog would that add more to the plot? <laughs> what, did, what do you think? So after this plot seems book worthy, Susan takes the plot to her plotting group, which is a group of writer friends, which I think is really cool. I had just come off a retreat when I received this email. I can't really afford another one, but I found the next best thing. Since I have been a published author, I have connected with a lot of people within my imprint. We have a group together. We talk almost every day and I solicited their help. So I managed in a very short amount of time to get 
to Katie and Belinda. And I will link to their books below if you're interested in checking them out. They are very lovely and I love their books, so maybe you will too. I brought them a three-page synopsis of the book. Since I had written 20 pages of my previous book, I really just didn't want to waste time. So if the book wasn't book worthy, um, I didn't want to have to write 20 pages and then someone tell me that. So I did a really short three page synopsis and we sat in a Facebook messenger group and discussed it. So this was my check mark for Susan Mallory's process where she discusses it, discusses it with her plot group. They had a lot of insights. Think, some things I did not put in the synopsis, um, I just made notes for later on because these are little things that I want to incorporate in the book and it was so fun to sort of have this discussion with others. Um, I love connecting with other writers, especially people who write within my genre or have a lot of insight, people who like plotting. Um, I'm not sure if I could have done this with someone who didn't plot um, and there's nothing wrong with people who don't plot, but I just wanted to be on the same page. So they were great, check out their books and that was that step. So the next step in Susan's process is that she writes a 15 to 20 page full synopsis, which she sends to her editor. Now, this is the next step for me, but currently I am waiting to hear back from my editor about the three page synopsis. As I said, I don't want to have to write a 20 page one again and then have it declined. So I'm waiting to hear back and I'll check in with you soon about that. Well, hello, I've decided to split this blog into two parts. I did want to share some good news. I talked to my editor this week and she is thrilled and has given me the green light to go ahead to write the book that I am plotting. So I'm very, very excited. My plan for this week is to really dig into the 20 page synopsis, about 20, or it's 15 to 20 pages, Susan said that she did. So I'm gonna really dive in deep and I'll show you my plotting process along the way. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you know the next time I post a video, and I'll see you soon.